Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a tool I created to take a UV snapshot in one click. When I'm in a hurry, taking a UV snapshot can be painful in Maya, so let's check it out. Okay, so let's look at how you would take a UV snapshot using the default way. So in the UV editor, you'll go to image and then go down to UV snapshot and it'll bring open this window. And so what you want to do is you want to browse for where you're going to save it, first of all. So I'll just put it on my desktop here. So wireframe, okay, and click save. And then that goes into there. You don't want to do an IFF. That's an awful format that you'll never want to use. So then you'll go into, what you want to do is use a PNG because then it won't come in with a background. So that'll save you some time in Photoshop when you've got to load it up. So PNG, and then uh, put whatever resolution you want. 2048 is what I usually do because that's most of the models I work on. Uh, Anti-alias lines, you want to turn that off because that'll give you like a little bit of smoothing on the edges, which is not helpful. Uh, and then UV tiles, one and one, that's fine. And then apply and close. Cool. So the snapshot is done and we can go look where we saved it. So that would be on my desktop. Here it is here. So let's so just select that and drag that into Photoshop and drag it in. And there we go. There's our UV snapshot. Maybe I should have done a lower res one so we could see it, but uh, you get the idea. And like I said, because we saved PNG, there's no background. So this can be really helpful uh, for selecting this as a mask, but it'll also make it really fast to drag and drop this on your uh, existing texture. So that's not too terrible having to go into the menu or whatever and do all that stuff like once, but um, I just find it like super annoying. Like at work, often I'll have to work on somebody else's model and I'll have a very limited time to do it. And I just need to get into their texture and like fix a bug or something. And uh, going into this menu, just it really frustrates me. Like sometimes this gets reset. I don't really know why um, all this stuff can kind of change or whatever doing this, uh, changing this. And it's just like it's way too many clicks. Like I just want to go into the tool and click one button and just have it magically like open those UVs in Photoshop so I can just like start working. I don't even necessarily want to uh, actually even open the UV editor. In a lot of cases, the UVs are already done, the textures are already done, but I have to fix somebody else's work. So I just want to get a snapshot because they either forgot to add one uh, or just didn't add one. So let's check out the little tool that I wrote here. So uh, I'm just going to click this button on the shelf here, the UV grab button. And it's going to launch this little guy. And it's pretty straightforward. It's called UV Grabber. And you just set a size horizontal and a size vertical. So let's just, uh, for test, we'll start with uh, 512. So we'll set it to 512. I almost never use 512 or whatever. So the cool thing about this tool, you just do the menu there. And then you click this one button. And what it will do is it'll automatically open the uh, UV snapshot in Photoshop or whatever application you assign to be the default uh, image editor inside of Maya. So I'm just going to jump over to Photoshop here and you can see I have nothing open in Photoshop. I'm going to go back to Maya. And like I said, I don't even need to have the UV editor open. So I'm just going to close that tab. So all I've got there is just the model selected. I'm going to click the snapshot button. And boom, directly into Photoshop. No like file open, no like save as, no like any of that stuff. Just quickly, no UV editor open, just one click and boom, it's inside of Photoshop. And what's super cool is it will actually auto update inside of Photoshop as well. So if you've got just the document uh, sitting here and you take a new snapshot, so here I'm just going to change the shape of this just so we can see it update inside of Photoshop. So I'm just going to delete those faces. So we have like an H shaped UV layout. I'm just going to click the same button again. Boom. And it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to update it? Say update. And there's your new UV snapshot. So no matter what model you have selected, it's just going to keep updating the same document, which is super handy. Uh, if you want to turn on the auto update feature inside of Photoshop, you'll go to edit, preferences, general. And just turn this guy on here. It'll be off by default for whatever reason. Say auto update open documents and say OK. 
The other nice thing that it does is if you have overlapping UV layout like this, it's like all super messy and you don't actually want it. Maybe this is duplicated stuff or you've just kind of shoved it on the side or whatever. You just don't want it. What you can do is you can go into face mode in the UV editor and just double click to get the shell. And if you take the snapshot of that, update it, you'll get just that selected UV layout, even though those assets were totally combined inside of Maya and had overlap. And then let's just change the resolution to something weird like, I don't know, 64 by 2048 and take the snapshot again, click it, update, and you'll see it updates there live. And you can tell the resolution here because uh, it'll say it inside of Photoshop 64 by 2048. And inside of your Photoshop, it might read like this, doc, whatever, totally useless or some other weird reading. What you want to do is go into Preferences and go to general and then click on what is it units and rulers and you want to set the rulers and the type to pixels and once you do that then you can use this tiny little secret menu here and you can say document dimensions instead of document sizes or measurement scale or any of that other stuff document dimensions and then that'll actually tell you what your photoshop document is in pixels instead of some other useless value OK, and let's check out how we can drop this on to the texture we are about to start or a texture you've already been working on. So uh, I want to do um, 2048 by 2048 because that's the resolution that I usually work in. And uh, here's my model here. So I take the snapshot and it opens here. And earlier I was saying because it's a PNG, this is helpful and I'll show you why. So what you want to do, here's my texture here. What you want to do is select the PNG layer here, the zero layer, because it has no background. And if you hold shift here and then leftmost drag it onto anywhere here while you're holding shift, just keep shift held down until the process is complete. And then release the mouse button, still holding shift. Boom. It drops it in and it perfectly aligns it. So you don't have to worry about it being offset by a couple pixels or something like that. And then you've got your perfect uh, UVs there. And because we did PNG with no background, you don't have to delete the background or invert it or set a layer mask or do any of that uh, stuff. It's just, boom, you know, one click to get it and then shift drag it over and you're done. And then if you update your model or something, so whatever, I'm just going to combine these two objects. This is just for a test. Obviously, I wouldn't do this with this awful overlap. And then just retake the snapshot goes into Maya, you say update, it adds the UVs there to the center. And then just go over to this one and just delete that layer. And then same thing, hold down shift and drag over and boom, there's your updated UV layout. So at the beginning of the video, I said that we could do this all in one click, which is typically what I want to do at work is just open someone's file and go boom, select one thing, click one button and do it. Um, and this, yeah, this will actually take us like a couple clicks, right? We've got to load the menu. And then we've got to select our size, and then we've got to click the snapshot, so like three or four clicks or something. So I'm just going to close the menu. And so to do this in one click, I've got a special feature on this button. So if you right click here, it'll actually open up this. And then you can select some common sizes. Like I said, I'm pretty much 99% of the time just doing 2K. So you can just come down here and click once, 2K. And boom, there's your 2K image right there. Or whatever, you can right click and say, ah, I want 1K. And then boom, there's your 1K image right there. 1K by 1K. OK, and then finally, to choose which image editing program the file will automatically open in, what you want to do is go to Windows, and then go to Settings and Preferences, and then go to Preferences. And whoops, that's on the other monitor. So in Preferences, go down to the bottom and select Applications. And under Applications, you can set other image files and browse to where your Photoshop or whatever image application uh, is installed, and then just select the EXE. By default, the uh, application will be nothing when you get like a fresh install of Maya and you've never set this. So I'll show you what happens with nothing. So just save that. And then uh, run the tool here. So let's go 1K. It's going to open in this weird program called FCheck. That's Maya's default UV editor. Sorry, and then you have to click on the alpha to see it because it's got no background. 
So it'll open in this, which is kind of useless to you. So I recommend uh, just going into that setting and changing it to be whatever you want. And you can change it to Photoshop or a different paint program uh, or anything you want. Any program that opens image files by default, it'll just kind of send it over to it. I'm pretty excited about this tool. It saves me a ton of time at work. So uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this as well. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the UV mapping pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script pack yet, you can grab the script by itself in the UV mapping pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have an awesome day.